Heart of Pimp Spot, it was a fun commercial. We made it with uh, Paul Rees with a Round Agency. And we were making this world for this girl that this world has to be so clean, so beautiful. It, it has to look like a book. I love the way the CGI and the live action of the, of the women looks like. What we really put on the, on the spot was many, many different flavors. First of all, the dancing thing. For me, it's so important when you feel good, you feel like you want to dance, you know? I don't know if it's because of my heritage, but I feel like that flavor that we put on the spot was awesome. The woman has to feel comfortable, feel like she has a feeling and she can explode it. We were talking about this narrative that you are inside a book, but you are feeling the way the book makes you feel. For me, the casting and the directing actors on the set is so important. So I try to make a back story for each character I have on the spot. So when they are there, they feel the, the emotion, even that you are on a green screen place. Without a great team of VFX, you cannot do anything. I love them to bring their ideas and I ask how they see it and how do they see it not only on the technical I wanted to connect with them in the human uh, aspects. Well with Gas Natural what uh, Gas Natural as client wants um, they want to um, communicate to kids how to be careful with all the appliances that you use with gas. In Latin America, it is good to know that um, kids has to do their own food. So their moms or their dads uh, go away all day to work and uh, kids have to come back from school and do their own meal. I think the first thing to work with kids is to connect with your own inner kid, first of all. So they can see you as a kid. I don't want them to know that I'm the authority. So I don't want them to go to know that I'm the director uh, because that disconnects us. The choice to make a song for kids, it was the best thing to do. And the other part was, let's make this piece to be like in their, their world. So my first um, decision as director was to put the camera down and to have the point of view of the kids. The second thing was to build to, like in these places and this house to try to have natural moments for them. Like for example, we had this kid reading a book. Uh, we had this kid playing with her mom in a kitchen, but in a kitchen that is not a kitchen. It's a kitchen for kids. All these different choices, the music, the environment, and the, the different moments of playing were the, the best choices to have this campaign to be accessible for kids. This spot is about uh, the victims of uh, war conflict in my country. So it's a tough um, issue to talk about. This commercial talked about a girl that has this doll and this doll get hurt. So it was a beautiful metaphor. I really want to make like a short film, to have the essence of a short film and a short narrative around it because it was about a girl and it was a different approach for a government spot. The other thing that I think about the, about the spot is that we have an arc. You, you are aware of what's happening with this little girl. Then in the middle, you see the conflict. Like I really want to see different people in the joy of making this doll to have a life again, to be near the people, to be near the craft, because that's why the government wants to, to say, um, we have to do this together. This department for victims is not the government, it's us. For this commercial, I got inspired with the movie of Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. 
because the story is about a little girl getting in touch with a monster, <laughs> you know? I think the best part of the, of the commercial is the last moment, when they come together. And I think that's the communication we wanted to, to achieve, that we can repair if we come together.